Hey Leo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. I'm gonna pull some tarot cards. We're gonna see what's going on. This is a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any of you folks dealing with a Leo. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. May or may not resonate. You are more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. And it's a timeless reading today, Leo. Whenever you click into this video is when you are meant to hear the messages. So let's see what's going on for Leo today. Let's see what's going on for Leo when it comes to love. Oh my goodness, Leo, first card out is the Four of Wands. You are dealing with a situation here where somebody really wants to commit to you. There is an energy here of somebody wanting to take the next step, uh, somebody wanting to commit, somebody wanting to prove their feelings to you. There's definitely a person here, Leo, who's looking at you as marriage material, so they say. The Four of Wands is the 1111 card, and it does indicate an escalation of commitment between two people. So this is actually a very exciting energy to be showing up with in your love life right now, because basically what this is telling me is that there is somebody here for you, whether it's your current partner, whether it's new love, who's looking at you, and when they think about the future, Leo, Basically, they are imagining the future between the two of you. They're imagining what that's gonna look like, the adventures you're gonna go on together, the life that you're going to create together. And I wouldn't be surprised if they are actively taking some sort of step right now to move the connection between the two of you in um, a forward direction, right? They're basically bringing some momentum into this connection. And so what this could look like is many different things, depending on where you're at personally with this person, but it could be that they are asking to define the relationship. They're wanting to move in. They're saying, I love you for the first time. They're wanting to get engaged. They're wanting to get married. But I definitely see that this person is going to be wanting to demonstrate their commitment to the relationship. And I'm also kind of getting the message here that this person is ready, right? If somebody is in the four of wands, they're finally ready to give you the commitment. They're ready to step it up and they're ready to prove that they're here for you, okay? Let's see what else we've got. <laughs> Lovely. Temperance. We've got this gorgeous energy of balance. Temperance energy is Sagittarian energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius romantically, but what I feel here is honestly just an abundance of warmth and love. I'm also getting generosity here, Leo. I feel like there is this beautiful emotional intimacy that connects you and this person together. And I'm gonna say with the temperance energy here, Leo, I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say you're a very fiery person. You're a Leo, right? You've got that spark. I feel like whoever this person is for you, they really balance you out. They really, <laughs> it's my cat Frankie, they really level out your energy. And you might even go to your friends and your family and be like, one of the things that I really love about this connection is that this person really balances me out. This person really just grounds me. This person just, <laughs> come on, Frankie, this person just really supports me and really loves me. And I just feel like there is space for me to relax into the relationship. That's what it feels like, Leo. And so I think this person creates this beautiful, emotionally safe space for you where you feel that you can really open up and be vulnerable and be loved and be supported and just really be in a partnership with somebody who is reciprocating these feelings of love. So it's like the temperance is about the love that goes in both ways. It's about that unconditional love that two people share. And I just feel like somebody's heart here is completely full of love for you. Frankie's excited about it. <laughs> um, if you're new to my channel, this is my cat, Frankie. She loves to make appearances in the Leo readings. Uh, so yeah, here she is. She loves you guys. She's pretty cute. Let's see what else is coming toward Leo. What's going on for Leo? My goodness, Leo. <laughs> what is going on today, my loves? All right, third card out for you. Gemini energy here. We have got the lovers. I mean, this is an amazing trifecta of energy that we've got going on for you. So what have we got, Leo, with the lovers? This person loves you. There is somebody here who's very deeply in love with you, and I feel like they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop imagining a future with you. I feel that they are very distracted by their feelings with you, Leo. And so what happens here is they're going about their day, trying to live their life, trying to do what they need to do, be productive, go to work, go to school, whatever it is they do. But it's like, they're so like, overwhelmed is not the right word, but like their feelings for you feel so big and expansive that I feel like it's almost hard for them to be present in other areas of their life because they're just 
in this energy right now of just loving you and being into you and wanting that future with you and wanting to connect with you. And it's like their heart is literally like pouring out love to you. That's what it feels like to me, Leo. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's see what else. Let's get some more cards here and see what else we got. Four of Pentacles, they're never gonna let you go, okay? This person, <laughs> here's the thing, Leo. So I'm getting kind of a message here where it's like, they may have fallen for you harder and faster than you fell for them. Like, I think that this person, it's almost like instantaneous. As soon as they met you, very quickly, they were like, Leo is it. Leo is my person. Leo is who I, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Uh, maybe they lost their voice a little bit when they tried to talk to you. <laughs> maybe they were working up the nerve to ask you out, Leo. Um, but I think they knew, like very, very early on, very quickly, like it feels almost instantaneous when they met you and they were like, yes, this is my person. This is who I want to be with. This is who I want to connect with. Right. And so there's this amazing energy of them just like having a sense of certainty about what they want. But now that they've got this connection between the two of you, they're never going to let it go. Right. And there might be a little bit of anxiousness and a little bit of like clinging energy. Like there could be points, Leo, where as much as it feels amazing to be loved. And I think that's like what all of us are looking for, you have to watch out because sometimes it might feel just like a little bit suffocating with this person because of the intensity of their feelings. And so there might be moments where you have to be like, I love you too, but like, I need a little bit of time and space today. I'm going to go and do something with my friends because I just feel like their energy is so intensely coming towards you. And the big thing as well is they want to make sure that they're doing what they can to keep this relationship going and to stay with you because they don't want to lose you. You're obviously the person that they want to be with forever. That's what it is. Let's see what else we got going on here. The emperor. I love it. More fire energy, you guys. Aries energy here. So they're very uh, confident, self-assured. And I'm just smiling because I do think this is what we all want. OK, not just Leo's. This is for everybody. If anybody's watching this message, even if you're not a Leo and you clicked into this video, I feel like there's a message for you just about having someone love you so deeply and so confidently and how good that feels. And I feel like with the emperor energy, it's like this person, again, I want to reiterate, Leo, they have no doubts. They have no concerns. They have no uncertainty about how they feel. They're very confident. And the other really cool thing about this energy is that they are probably somebody who is very, um, the word that's coming to mind was powerful. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm getting some good vibes about the workplace they could have an amazing career. They could be well-established in terms of their finances. Like this feels to me like somebody who really has their life together. And I kind of feel here, what could be going on as well, Leo, is this person may have spent um, a significant portion of their life kind of like establishing themselves. So what I'm picking up on here, I'll give you an example. It's like, maybe this person didn't date a lot in their 20s because they were really focusing on building their career building their empire, so they say, right, with the emperor. But I feel like now that they're, uh, you know, and take the ages and the date, you know, take the ages as they connect. I'm just using this as an example. Now that they're at a different phase in their life, I feel like they've set up that stability for themselves. And basically what they're doing now is they are focusing on love. And I think that's the thing. It's like, I, I'm seeing a big, like, green check mark in my mind. It's like, they set themselves up for stability. They set themselves up in their career. They set themselves up financially. And now what they're doing is they are focusing on you. Oh, <laughs> what is this? We had a card come jumping out, the unknown. So I use the Crystal Visions Tarot deck predominantly for my readings, Leo. This is a little extra card here um, that is in the deck. I feel that your person's going to be doing something that surprises you. The word that popped into my head immediately, Leo, when the unknown card literally came jumping out, it was a surprise, right? I wasn't really shuffling and this card came coming out of the deck, came coming out of the deck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what I mean, Leo. Um, the card came out of the deck, right? And I wasn't even expecting it. And the word surprise like really popped into my head. And so that's what I think here with this unknown. It's like, I also feel like this person is going to be doing something here to surprise you, something that's going to make you feel good, something that's going to make you feel wonderful when it comes to love. And it's like, for some of you, it's going to feel unexpected, but it's going to feel good. Unexpected, but feeling really good. So I think you should be prepared for some sort of surprise that this person could be bringing to you, <laughs> bringing into your life right now, Leo. What else? 
And then we got the Three of Swords. Okay, you know what this is, Leo? This is your person's internal fear over the potential of losing you. And this kind of goes back to what I was talking about before with the Four of Pentacles, where I was like, this person could be like a little bit clingy, maybe even a little bit possessive because you're it for them and you're who they choose. And there's like definitely times where this person gets up in their head and gets a little bit nervous about the connection because it's very high stakes, right? This person is dating for marriage. This person is dating for a future with you. And it could also be that this person with the three of swords has had disappointments in love before. I feel like this is the energy of somebody who when they fully commit to something, not just in love, but honestly in any area of their life, whether it be their career, their, their finances, their friendships, whatever it is, when they commit, this feels like somebody who takes it very seriously. And I can see here that this person, I see the potential for them to have been really hurt in the past. Like they may have met somebody who they thought was the one for them, right? The person, and it didn't work out. And now they've met you, it's clicking, they love you, it feels really good. But there is a little part of them that's still scared because they've been burned before. And so I think this is maybe what contributes a little bit to that Four of Pentacles energy where it's like they get a little clingy and they hold on to you because they don't want to lose you. And I think a little bit of that clinginess is driven by some insecurity because of past relationships where things have not worked out. And I think the other thing is that because they're so invested in you, they have those fears sometimes. And I think sometimes they do go into their head a little bit and they're like, oh, but what if it doesn't work out with Leo? What if things don't happen? And so there's a little bit of that like anxious energy. And at points, you might be in a place where you have to give them a little bit of reassurance about your feelings so that they know that the two of you are still good, right? Beautiful. And then we've got the Justice card. We've got this beautiful, lovely Libra energy. I actually feel like there could be... Um, like what I'm getting here is that your person is going to reveal some sort of vulnerability to you, Leo. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling with the three of swords and then the justice card. Um, I feel like they're going to be talking to you about an injustice that happened to them. And I think this is the heartbreak that I was alluding to just a moment ago. And so this could be a situation where I'm kind of like feeling into this, Leo, this person loves you. Things are moving along, but I also see a little bit of that anxiety creeping into their energy, right? And then it makes them kind of hold on to you. You're probably going to pick up on this energy as them being a little bit clingy. Now, I feel like what happens is that the two of you end up coming together and having a conversation about that. And I think they're going to be emotionally vulnerable with you here, Leo. And they're going to say, look, I was really hurt before. And that's what makes me scared sometimes, right? That's being vulnerable. Being vulnerable is opening up even when it's hard and being like, yeah, I, I do get scared sometimes. So they might be saying to you, Leo, like, I love you and I care for you and, and I, you know, I'm in it. I'm in this with you and I want you, but I get scared sometimes because I've been hurt in the past. I've had these injustices done to me. I've had relationships where it didn't work out. And I'm going to say here as well for some of you, for some of you, not all of you, the person who you're dealing with is divorced, Okay. So this person had a significant relationship before. It didn't work out. Maybe the divorce was, I was going to say not easy. I don't think divorce ever is, uh, but it could have been quite challenging. Maybe they ended up in the courts for a while. Things were tough, separation of assets, all that stuff. Maybe it was a little bit messy, right? And so they've had that pain of having to go through a situation like that. And I feel like they're going to be opening up and being vulnerable with you, Leo, and being like, this is what drives some of my anxiety sometimes. This is what makes me feel nervous sometimes because I have had this past experience and um, of heartbreak. And I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this, Leo. I'm looking at the unknown, the three of swords and the justice. And I'm wondering if with this past heartbreak, maybe what happened here is that it came out of left field with that unknown card, right? Maybe this person in the past felt like they were blindsided by a breakup. And that's what's contributing to some of these fears and anxieties that are potentially showing up within the connection between the two of you. So this is where it's like there's so much love, but I feel like there's also quite honestly going to be a beautiful moment of vulnerability where your person is just going to share some of their fears. And when we do that, when we open up and we be vulnerable within a connection, it helps us with the justice card understand each other better, right? The justice card to me is a very balanced energy of understanding each other's perspectives, learning more about each other, being curious about each other. And I think that there's going to be an opportunity here for 
both of you potentially to understand each other on that deeper emotional level. Maybe you've also had some shit happen to you, Leo. You know, you've had some bad breakups. You've had some tough stuff and you might be opening up a bit about that and being vulnerable too so that both of you can have a conversation about these past challenges about these past heartbreaks and just support each other and love each other and kind of reaffirm what it is that you're doing here together in this connection okay let's see what else we've got here let's see what else we've got and then we've got the hanged man there's definitely something here with the justice and the and the hanged man about looking at things from a different perspective, right? And so that's what I was saying here, Leo, where it's like, you know, take some time to really understand each other, slow things down, be vulnerable with each other, be emotional. I also kind of feel like at the start of the reading, it was so lovey-dovey energy with the Four of Wands, the Temperance and the Lovers card. And I feel like it's kind of that energy of being in this beautiful romantic bubble, this little love world where everything feels good. But then I do feel like the energy coming in is also saying like, this is a time to also get to know each other better, see a different side of each other, be vulnerable, be open, and really start to create that deeper emotional intimacy within the connection between the two of you here, okay? Because basically I do feel with the two of swords here that this person's anxiety has the potential to get in the way of how your connection is moving forward. And so it's like, I don't know. You have to watch out a little bit here, Leo, because I do think they could get really up in their head and they might go from being like really affectionate and really like holding on to you. And then you might feel a shift within their energy where they're suddenly kind of like pulling back and being uncertain. And the reason they're doing that is because of that three of swords, that past heartbreak, that pain. And it's like they're almost maybe unconsciously going into a little bit of this protective energy of wanting to kind of shut down. I feel like they're going to be looking for some sort of reassurance here from you. Okay. But then we get the Knight of Pentacles. So how do you guys get through this? The Knight of Pentacles is about making sure that you have a secure foundation to your relationship. Okay. So I feel like, <laughs> um, I'm just laughing. I don't know why. Sometimes I laugh in my readings. Some of you guys leave me comments and are like, don't laugh. It's stupid. Um, thank you for that, by the way. Um, <laughs> No, I, I get like very interesting comments. Some people don't like my energy. That's okay. You don't have to watch my channel if you don't like me. It's totally cool. I'm okay with it. Um, but I do think here there's something about the two of you just building your beautiful stability and security here. Okay. And I feel like this is the key, right? When we have the Knight of Pentacles, when we know that we're stable and secure in a relationship, things can come up. We can feel insecure. We can have moments of doubt. We can have moments where we're uncertain about the connection. But because we've established that stability within the relationship, that's our base that we operate from. And so I feel like within this connection, there's also an invitation right now to create an even greater stability in your relationship that ultimately creates the space for that deeper level of emotional intimacy and vulnerability. Because ultimately what I see here in the reading for you today, Leo, is somebody who is head over heels in love with you, but somebody who's also bringing their past vulnerability and insecurity into the connection. And what happens is that, and, and you may have had this happen to you, Leo, like has this ever happened to you where you feel anxious or insecure and then it can sometimes transfer into being self-sabotaging energy? Okay, have we done that? I think a lot of us have. I've done that before in the past. So if we're not conscious about what we're bringing into the connection or if we're not open with our partner about those fears and anxieties, they can creep in, they can stall the relationship, they can slow things down, they can create uncertainty. And so I do think that that is what is going on with your person. It's like they're so in love with you and then there might be a moment where some of those past triggers come up for them. And that's an invitation for the two of you right now to go back to the foundation of your connection and to be like, Okay, so when these tough moments come up, when one of us is feeling vulnerable, when one of us is feeling scared, it's an opportunity to deepen that connection. And there's no need to rush things with this Knight of Pentacles. There's no need to like, you know, zoom past these issues. I think that this is a moment for the two of you to take things even deeper emotionally. I think things were good. There's obviously a lot of love here, but I feel like there's gonna be an invitation right now when you're watching this reading Around this time, Leo, I think there's going to be an opportunity to even understand each other more deeply on that emotional level, which is ultimately creating to, uh, stability and contributing to the stability within your relationship. So this looks really good. It feels, you know what I want to say to you, Leo? It feels so human. 
I don't know. I don't know why that's coming to mind. I don't think I have ever said that on my channel. It feels so human, but this is what it is, right? It's two people who love each other coming into a connection, but none of us are coming into a connection as like a blank slate. We're coming in with past experiences, good moments, bad moments, challenges, triumphs, successes, and all of that really intermingles within our current relationship. And so I think that's what's happening here. It's like there's a deeper level of connection happening as the two of you start to dig deeper into who each of you are, being curious about each other, loving each other. If there's insecurity or fear on either of your part, it's about uh, reassurance, right? And your person might need that reassurance from you right now that things are good and um, vice versa. You will probably need that at some point as well, but it's ultimately about being able to support each other, okay? So let's leave it there, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Uh, if you would like to get a tarot reading from me, I do offer personal tarot readings through my Etsy shop. They are in a different style than what I offer here on YouTube though. So if you would like to see what I'm offering through Etsy, please go to the link in the description box below this video. Make sure to read the description for any of the readings that I'm offering. Like I said, they're not video readings. They're a bit of a different style, but if you're interested in getting a reading, definitely feel free to check that out over on Etsy. I've got some cool stuff there. And of course, I wish you so much love and so much happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.